Okay, so we're gonna do a, we're gonna vacuum pack a Mylar bag this time. And we filled it up with some soup mix, so it's pretty thick package. So we're gonna pull out some of the plates that are designed to lift the bottom of the package up. So we're gonna pull out probably two, maybe three plates. We'll have to see just exactly how big this package really is. So we filled this up with about five pounds of product. And that looks just about right. I think I might want to pull out one more plate just to get the bag to flow across that heat seal bar properly. So now we've got most of the chamber emptied out. And the Mylar bag, because it's a little bit thicker than the four mil bags that we use for most of our vacuum packing, we're going to set up a different programmed setting for that. So now we're going to move this down to, let's say, P2 for your Mylar bags. Um, the P2 settings, we're going to suck out 99.9% .9 of the air. And we're going to not run an extended vacuum because we have a dry product in here. But because the Mylar is so thick, we're going to run the heat cycle up to about 2.2 seconds. And remember, we've got this... Um, dual wire heat bar in this time. So what we're going to do is close the lid, make sure the bag lays flat across the heat seal bar, it's positioned correctly, and uh, let's see, we need to go back to where it says P2 and hit the go button. So once again what we're doing is extracting all of the air from the inside of the chamber, and because the bag is open and sitting just across the heat seal bar and not tucked down inside it, you're going to be able to extract all the air out of that bag without having to run an extended vacuum or stress the machine any harder than you have to. So once we get up to 99.9, 98, where are we at? 99.9, then the heat seal bar is sealing the bag and the air gets let back into the chamber. And there you have uh, a very tightly sealed Mylar bag. And once again, that dual wire heat seal bar has uh, crimped the bag shut so that you actually have a seal that is not going to break open even if you work at it. So there you have it. <laughs>